What is up everybody? This is Meltedex Toxic and welcome back to another Valheim series and I am already starving. So one second now let me get some berries or mushrooms. Here we go. This will stop me from starving. Okay, so now I can actually have time to explain. This is another ooh, 11 4 skeleton right off the bat. Another modded Valheim series basically. I have just over 100 mods installed. I've 90 something on Nexus and I have 20 something on Thunderstore. So, well, most of them now are the majority of them would be QOL mods like better stamina and we'll say extra equip slots. Loads of different things like that, just quality of life mods and plant everything and all that. I'll be explaining most of it as I go as I go through the series anyway. Double tap to roll, there's one of them. I forgot about that one myself. And as you can see here, creature level and loot control, which I have turned up to basically max. Well, not max, but you'll say about three times its original level. As you can see right there, I'm only just after starting out and there's already a level four skeleton. So, Hugin, piss off. Now, I am playing on a seed that I know because it is one of my favorite seeds and the reason I picked this seed is because there's a trade there's two trader spawns on the starting island one up around here and another around here so that is where I'm going to be building right after I beat what is he called ether or ether however however you say his name so I'll just get a few resources together here because I also have the starvation mod installed, so I'm going to need, need to keep food on me unless I want to die. Gather up a few stones and a bit of wood. Might just take down this whole... Yeah, I'll take down that whole building. There's a horsey over there right off the bat, lovely. Well, they spawn. I knew they spawned here anyway from a previous playthrough I did, a solo playthrough. Oh my god, what? Level are you? I'm not going to get too close. Oh my god, a level... Five fire infused boar and a level two boar. Jesus, I might have turned it up a bit too much, but I do have a lot of mods in installed that will help me also. As you can see at the top middle of my screen, that is from the magic overhaul mod. So we will be able to use spells and things like that. Now, I just need to get a few resources together for an axe and maybe a club. I don't think a club is going to do much for me at the moment though with the way the creatures are all right all right all right i really hate the early game of valheim i suppose it is just part of the game you have to get used to it but punching trees like this oh my god why do i keep clicking when i have holes to attack another quality of life mod very useful mod boom 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 don't have to keep clicking come on there we go there should be enough wood for a hammer. I'm going to make an axe first, actually, though. How much do you need for an axe? Oh, you need four stone. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. I really need to get used to that because I'm not used to playing with the double tap to roll mod. I decided to install it because the rolling in this game is fairly stupid. I don't, I don't like the way it works at all. All right. I'm going to need 15 wood because I will need enough for a crafting. I need enough for a crafting bench as well so I can take down that building. Now, do I have enough for a hammer? I should do. Oh no, you need stone for a hammer as well. My god. I might just. I'll, I'll come back when I get a bit of a uh, few resources going. I just decided to bring, me, bring you back. This is the Odin Plus Chicken mod. We have a three star chicken. So as you can see, it works with the creature level and loop mod, which is very useful. I think he just gives me raw chicken and feathers when I kill him. I have used it before, but I didn't do much with it. I'm not even gonna bother killing him right now because that, took, that did fuck all damage. All right, so I have enough stone and I also have enough wood. Hammer, here we go. If we go crafting, lob you down there. There we go. Very nice, very nice. All the woods. 
And there we go. And one more. Nice. So, uh, Ether. I forgot to actually activate the stone. He's very close though. I don't actually know which direction he's in. I do not want to alert that horsey because he will fuck me up. Eat you and eat you. I actually don't know what them apples are from. What mod those apples are from. I think... What is the name of it again? Uh, uh, it'll, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. Okay, so Ether is there. So I'm going to work on getting the deer heads now. My god, I'm worried to go over that way. And look look off there in the dif distance. Is that just a grayling or is that a gray dwarf? I presume that's just a grey dwarf, or a grey ling, sorry, but it's just a high level one. So, keep away from that. And as you can see, I also have the first person mod installed. Very nice mod, very nice. Okay, you are level 2. Come here, buddy. Ah, I'll leave him be. Alright, I, I guess I'll go hunting deer. I need to make a bow first, though. Ooh, very nice, very nice. I'll take these. And I guess lob you down here. Oh, gotta change the axis. There we go. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Very nice, handy shelter. Might as well leave this here because I won't be building a base until I actually get eat, eat or killed as i said i'm going to be building inside the trader the trader is kind of bubble i do have a mod installed i think falham plus lets you do that as well but what is this oh yes 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 this is the better stairs mod or something like that i forget what it's called it's basically better stairs so you don't have to keep jumping up the stairs wait why are you not working? let's test this out there we go. You don't have to keep jumping up the stairs. You can just walk right up it rather than these vanilla stairs, which are... Fairly... Wait, what? Did they fix that? I might just... I might have to just uninstall that mod because... Hmm. I don't know what these are from. I have just too many mods. I don't know what half of them do. I'll figure it out though. Let's just get this done. And what am I looking for you? Can't even see what I'm doing. Boom. Boom. Alright, will you leave me access you? Yes, you will. Can I make... Well, I'm going to make a few arrows anyway. I also have the multi-craft mod installed. So if we go boom. I need to kill a few boars. So if I make... A club and I will also get my, my first magic ability so if we come here to misc this is the magic overhaul mod I was on about we'll just lab that there for now we'll just try it again in a minute it is free to play so you can place him anywhere oh no no okay he's stuck thank god at least until I pick my class so these are all your different classes I do have two favorite ones though which is the warlock here he can spawn go oh no 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 oh oh, oh. oh my god let me be, buddy. What am I supposed to do in this situation? I know for a fact I will not be able to kill him. Even when I get my magic, I will not be able to kill him. Oh, rolled the wrong way. A level 3 deer. If I could kill him, that would be lovely. Come on, let me get my warlock class. Warlock, there we go. Lovely. Now I can spawn a ghost. I can spawn like four ghosts even to help me fight him. Get him, buddies! Aha! Get wrecked, kid. I will explain all these abilities in a minute. I oh. Okay. Okay, so my alt, my alt one move, as you saw there, I took health from my ghost, and it takes health from anything around me to heal me. Uh, my alt two move, I will show you in a minute once I get up to this deer. I'm going to use it to kill this deer. Wait, where are you, buddy? Okay, I guess I'll use it now. That's all my alt two move does. All three spawns the ghost. I can't use it at the moment, and all four will 
create an aura around me and any enemy inside that aura will take well anything inside that aura that isn't tamed will take damage but in return for me taking damage so it has its ups and its downsides but i like it i like this class where did that deer go you can piss off okay there you are bam look at that easy peasy is not actually deer hide we need what what was i thinking it is boar hide we need so where did i see all those boars or down this way i think will you go away please i'll get him in a minute when i'm getting the boars i lose my all four move and i will show you that i'm just gonna talk to him as i go along because he is very annoying when he keeps popping up like that i really hate this bird hugan Go away, please. Here we are. So, oh. Still not used to that double tap to roll. Uh, it, it's going to take me a few episodes to actually get used to that, I'd say. Alright, here we go. This will get me a lot of boar hide. I've got so many craftables coming in. Jeez. And this is my all four move. They're all slowly taking damage. I can also drain health back to these ghosts, which is very useful as well. So, did I kill all them boars I wasn't even watching? Say, I have four. And eight. If I see one or two more, I'll, I'll kill one or two more and then I'll, I'll bring you back. Alright, I'm after getting fairly loaded up on resources. I... I, I didn't think about this, but it's actually much quicker getting resources at the start of the game because of the way creature level and loot is. Because every time I kill a deer, well, if I kill a 3 star or 4 star deer, they're dropping double, maybe 3 times the amount of loot a normal one would. So yeah, fairly useful for early game, but it is still difficult enough. I am going to have to kill that horse wherever it's gone, because I just remembered to make the saddle you need horse hide make the saddle for a horse you need horse hide so I go boom. oh don't have the mana for it oh i'm sorry buddy boom that did a lot of damage oh no. oh no i did not mean to do that Ooh. oh this is a splitting deer oh i'm gonna get so much resources from this just give it a minute Go, oh, he did. Go, oh, they did. Oh my god. That is amazing. Uh, the, white, the white star creatures from creature level and loot, they split every time they get defeated. So every time you, if you beat a three star, he'll split into, is it three or two? I think it'll just split into two, but then if you beat do, both those two star deer, they'll split into another two. So basically you're multiplying it every time. That, that is amazing. Look at him resources already. Now, I also am after marking a rune on the map and they're going to be important for later on because I have the runic magic mod installed. Very useful mod as well. Well, it's more, well it's not really quality of life, it just makes certain parts of the game better. Like you have a shattering rune, which means you can break stones without a pickaxe and things like that. But I'll get into that later. That's later game, so... Now, I suppose we can make... Ooh, there's another deer there. I may as well. No reason not to. I will show you more of the magic overhaul classes in a while. It's just for now, the warlock is probably my favorite. It's probably the best one for now. What is this? Oh, that's from... I know that's from something to do with Odin Plus, but I can't remember the name. Odin Plus is mods, just download all of them that's all, all i have to tell you well some of them now they don't suit the game but the majority of them just download them that's all i can say all right so rag pants let's make you we'll make the crude bow we already have some shiza i should have made that all right I forgot I, I forgot I got this mod actually working. Anytime I go to use this recycle mod, it just never works for me. So I'll scrap you. I might just get rid of this as well. No need to have it really. And 
Make this. Make this. I think it actually does the same. It has the same armor. Yeah, but it gives you the set effect if you have every piece of it. So we'll get run stamina usage minus 5%, health and stamina region plus 5%. So very nice, very nice. And as you can see here, we also have the equipment slots, or whatever the hell it's called. Extra equip slots, actually, is what it's, what it's called. Very useful mod as well. And wait, now, do we have... No, we're out of leather scraps. I think... What is happening? Am I slipping out of it, maybe? A normal backpack. What? Ooh, we need a lot of leather scraps for that. I'll get that there in a bit. Probably wait until we're bit closer to building i might build a few of these as well because these are very good to throwing axes do not no hmm i don't know actually this i know what class i'm going to use for ether so i'll place this down again we'll go the archer class Ooh, yes, yes, yes. i completely forgot about this class even so can I make that cape now actually? No, I cannot. What do I need for probably more leather scraps again? Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. There are so many backpacks, but I know the simple backpack and there's one more backpack. It's it's I think it's either just called the advanced backpack. They are fairly broken at the moment. And the reason I say that is if you if you put items into it and if you die and when you pick back up the backpack there's a chance that some of them items basically get deleted so i'm gonna have to watch out for that I, i'm only gonna have to put in the my worst ones basically i should forget what all this guy's abilities do i know all two jumps do a cool little jump like that better not go too far away actually because i need to make more arrows alt one i think that's a trap so if an enemy walks over it boom boom uh, Alt 3 makes me fire arrows like crazy. If I could use it. Oh no, is it Alt 3? Oh no, it's Alt 4, yeah. Very no very nice, very nice. Now, I I'll actually just make sure that that is right. So, placing a mine on the ground, dealing damage when someone steps on it, yes. And the passive ability is you, you have a chance to do not waste an arrow with a bow shot. Okay. Alright, I think I might go take him on. Oh no, actually, I just realized I'll probably need another bow, either that or upgrade my bow, because it's going to run out of durability before I before I even nearly kill him. I do have an enhanced bosses on as well. It's a mod that makes the bosses just better, basically. Um, Wooden arrows, I'll make two more lots of you. Do not screw with the throwing axes and all? We, we got this, we got this. Let's, let's mosey on over to Ector. Okay, I had to turn back because I realized like an idiot I'm, I'm rushing a bit too much and I have completely forgot to cook myself up some food. But while I was killing some boar, I will show you now in a minute. Sorry, I nearly knocked something off my press. While I was killing some boar, I came across this. Now, that is to do with... That is my second favorite class, the Berserker, actually. And it is to do with the Magic Overhaul mod, obviously. You use them books and basically it will up the experience you get or gives you experience sorry for them classes so it'll give me experience now for the berserker class let's just use it straight away not to waste any more inventory space and as you can see a hundred berserker experience i also need to mark this rune because we are going to need to keep coming back to them later game where'd you go buddy come back i i need foods but yeah, that's all I brought you back for. And something strange too about the birds in the game. I've been trying to use the abilities on them. Uh, from We'll say from the Warlock class and from this class, the Archer class. But they don't seem to work on birds. I guess you just need to hit birds with arrows. That's about all you can do. Good thing I'm the Archer class. Ah, yes. Meat. Yes. Back at home now waiting to cook up a bit of meat and then I'll go off and kill him. Come on, cook quickly. I have 15 seconds left before I start starving. I put that in just to make the game a bit harder, the starvation mod, but it's just more of a nuisance more than anything. You're going to always have food on you, like it's just it's going to make you eat food that you don't want to eat, basically. And I also did craft this cape too. I forgot to do that on camera. Oh, please go away. 
please. Oh no, that's mending. Basically, he he'll heal himself. Um, uno momento. Will I be able to take him down like this? I should do. I also have the better archery mod installed, so that, that's just a must-have for any playthrough. For playing this game at all, make sure you use the better archery mod, please. Can I pick you back up? No, I thought I was able to. Oh. Wait, actually. Do arrows normally show on the ground? No, they don't. That is a mod. I should not be able to see them, I don't think. That is kind of cool. So, yeah. Cool beans. Put on all my meats. Lovely. Gourmand getting leveled up. That is the cooking skill mod. Basically, just makes food uh, food you cook sometimes better if you have a higher skill. Okay, I think I'm ready to take him on, but that all depends on what way he will spawn in. This could be like a maybe a three star boss. It could be a three star boss, and with enhanced bosses on as well, he can spawn in other creatures around him to help him fight. So I could be very underprepared or I could be very overprepared. I do not know. If it was vanilla game, I know for a fact. Obviously. I wouldn't have them but even with just this bow uh those arrows and without that headpiece and shoulder just have the normal two rag pants and rag tunic i know i would be able to take them out but this is modded so you'd never know but look let's just get into it and let's, have, let's have some fun we're gonna spawn buddy right here nice come on Oh, I can't even see what he is. Because I have my magic overhaul thing in the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess we're we're fighting him blind. Well, I know what his health is at least. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. I meant to use this. Kill the next, please. I can't see! sorry go away please oh my god how am i so close to death how did i take so much damage i didn't even realize i got hit oh no my bow is nearly broke already this is not going well what how did i die Oh my god, no, that's like, I forget what it's called, I think he's rebounding or something, so basically every time I hurt him, I get hurt as well. Oh my god, no, that last will not cut it, so I, I'm gonna have to make another hammer, and, oh no, I should be able to place down my, hmm, yeah, I think I should be able to place it down even without a workbench. Oh shit, food, I completely forgot about food, no. Are you serious? Yeah, I fucking knew it. Ecter the Reflective. God damn it. And look at this guy then, Cobalt. That is Fantasy Creatures mod from Thunderstore. That is a very nice mod as well. All their creatures, all they drop is gold. And uh, I think that creature drops like fish and things. Oh. Please, just let me get my stuffs. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... And he's level 3 as well. I didn't even know that. I'm not going to be able to use the Archer class. I'm going to have to... Why did you go like that? I'm going to have to dip a minute. Leave me B until I can change my class. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Now. Boom. 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 And take out my hammer. So, as I said, I, yes, I can place you down without having to... Please go away. There we go. I should have taken care of him. Come on. Warlock, there we go. This is what we need. We need the ghosts to help us. And I also need a way to be able to heal. Uh, what am I looking for? J-H-J? Or G-H-J, sorry. Why did that take off my hat? Every time I change my class, it takes off my hat. Why? Hey chicken. Now, let's get these bubbles in to help me out a bit. Use that. Um, boom. There we go. I'm not going to use 
use all my health because that would just be plain stupid. Okay, he is fucking up my ghost. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. And they're gone. Alright, alright, alright. Take that bitch. I need my ghost back so I can heal off him. I guess I'll heal off you as well. Did he spawn in bubbles I can heal off of? No, he did not. Here, break a few trees for me while you're at it, actually. Come here, buddy. Here you go, look. Try and break down these for me, will you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the stuff. Well, you didn't break any down, but at least you're doing damage. There we go, my ghosts are back. There we go, I got fish off your men. Oh, I fucked up. we go this is gonna take a long time wait why aren't I taking damage I think the modded things well I knew off magic overhaul I wouldn't take any damage but I'm not taking any damage from the throwing axes either when I hit them with them that's actually a good thing though because what is with these fucking lightning yokes that's where the ghosts were Oh, I am taking damage, Shiza. Go away, please. Your health, please. Ooh. Hey, hey. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, I did not mean to use both at the same time. Okay, now I'll heal off these guys. Come here, buddy. I did not get it in time, and I very nearly died as well. Jesus. This is a lot worse than I thought. If, if Eater is like this, picture what, what's his name? The Elder even is gonna be. Please go away, I have enough to, I have enough to deal with Eater. Come on. There we go. Away, please. Any other class besides the warlock, and I would not have been able to do this. Wait, why is there two of them? Why is there two? What? What is happening? What's happening? Seriously? Is it just me? I I was definitely seeing two of them there. You go away. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. I keep hitting the wrong boy. I'm such a noob. Okay. You left my ghost. Nice. Hehe. <laughs> I am not meaning to do that. That's just me being a noob. Okay. Ghost, last piece of hand. Come here, buddy. Hey, hey. Please, go away. Please. Now I know to... If, if I had known he was reflective, I wouldn't have even died that first time. Now I know to keep the magic overhaul thing out of the way, because that, that was kind of stupid of me. I missed! This is not taking long enough. Now I'm pressing the wrong buttons the whole time, I'm just getting too panicked. Oh! Okay. One more shot. Die! There we go, lovely. Are these electric yokes gonna stay here? Oh my god. Oh my god, my FPS. Okay, this this is a bit game breaking. Oh fucking hell, I can't I can't do anything until I pick him up. No. Come on. There we go. There we go. Lovely. That was that was game breaking. Is this ever going to go away? 
Hmm. I might have to see, can I try and fix that? That's, that's where the ghosts were getting shocked by him, I think. But yeah, at least we got it done. Now I can head towards the, what's it called? The trader. I got eight of them. Oh my God. And I got nine hard antlers. What the fuck? All right, all right, all right. Let's just, let's just get the fuck out of here now. I've, I've enough of this area. Go away, please. Bye bye. Don't give me the emotions. That noise is rightly pissing me off. Thank God, I thank God I'm finally done that. Oh, I'm actually. If you could see me IRL, I am actually sweating. My my mouse is all slippy and everything because of it. And that was just the first boss. That was just extremely unlucky. A three star reflective Victor. My god, well, I'm going to start running towards... Hmm... One sec now. It is up this way. Oh yes, and I forgot to explain this. You might be wondering how the fuck am I exploring so much of the map. I turned it up in Valheim Plus. It's basically... Is it like double or three times the amount? Just because I know this map already, well I know the majority of it, and I don't want to spend ages looking around for certain things that I, I know where the general area of them are already. So, now, let's roll. Actually, before I do, can I make a backpack? Lizzie, can I make a backpack? Do you have better stamina than the mushrooms? You do. Do you have better stamina? You do, but this is still probably better. There we go. I'm going to leave this little hut here, just in case. I, I will need, be needing to come back to spawn, anyway. Um, what was I going to make? A book and door. That is from Hugo's Armory mod, I think. Uh, I can make the simple backpack, but I do not want that one because, as I said, you can lose your stuff because of it. Hmm. Do you want? I'll make it for now, just because I can. Oh yes, inventory is full. I'll just screw drop you a minute. I'll make it for now just because I can scrap it in a while once I get my new one and it will help me out for now and I oh shit can't hold it I forgot about that yeah you can't use the two of them at once so if you press shift E this is what the backpack can hold it's not much but better than nothing can I make my pickaxe now as well I can inventory full Okay, okay, okay. Just dump some of this stuff off. I'll, I'll put in the stuff that isn't important in case I do actually end up losing losing some of my items. And you, you, and I guess you. So, enter pickaxe. Boom. We're, we're coming up in the world. In a, I, I forget what I called it again, it's, oh, heaven itself. Yes, we're in heaven itself. No, I did not mean to do that. There we go. And just to show you as well that I can actually build inside the forbidden places. I'm not going to put it right on my spawn in case I die before coming back and glitch out. There we go. Usually you shouldn't be able to, you should not be able to build inside in here, but for modded reasons we can. Now, let's go. Oh yes, this right here is what you need to get yourself a horse saddle quickly. A three star splitting lightning infused horse. Oh my god, he's going to be a cunt to take down, but when we do take him, every version of him down. Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god, that did more damage than I thought it would. Come here, buddy, and my fucking backpack is broke in as well. That could end up deleting some of the items I have, but that's okay. You're not a shite in there for the moment. There we go. Oh, he's splitting as well. Get him, buddies. Oop, I killed off all my ghosts. I really need to, I might just get rid of that double tap to roll mod, either that or I might see can I configure it to make it so you've a longer interval or a shorter interval to actually dodge it. Oh, 
Oh! My god! This is too many of them. Wait till you see the resources I have. I, I'll show you how far I've actually gotten, but the amount of these splitting boars I'm after finding is just... It, it's not normal. They all seem to be splitting. So wait now, I'll show you my resources. I have a hundred leather scraps, a hundred and six boar meat. I had shit loads of this, but I, I'm just dropping every stack of it to be honest, because you just get too much of it and it doesn't work with the item stack mod I'm using at the moment. So now I need to pick up my backpack and then kill this horsey. And I guess I'll just put you there. Okay, here he is. Get wrecked, kid! Oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm messing up left, right, and center. Come here, buddies. Get him! Get him for me, come on! Come on, you useless bollockses! We have so many of these guys to take down. Yeah, I'm not going to show me doing this at all. It, it's just going to take way too long, even with the ghosts. Boom! Boom! Okay, I'll be back once I have all these guys killed. Alright, so I killed all them horses and I actually got less than I thought I would. I only got six horse hide and I got a few horse meat, which I'm no, not too pushed about. Now, finding you, I'll take that. Just wait for the poison effect to go away. Oh no, I didn't even destroy it, oops. Come on! Come on! There we go. Oh no. There we go. My god, that took longer than it should have. But I, one thing I want to say is I do have vein mine installed. And I know a lot of people say, oh, vein mine is very cheaty and all that. I, If you're playing solo, I highly recommend you use vein mine. Because obviously gathering resources while you're playing with friends is 10 times easier. It's 10 times quicker and everything. If you're playing solo, I, I just highly recommend you use vein mine. I always do because I usually do play solo. I'd very rarely play with people like... So, yeah, open sesame, take all of you, and da, 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 da. screw the chicken, I oh, screw the dandelions, what am I on about? There we go. Did I even get, I didn't get the honey. Come here, buddy. You gonna let me pick you up? Am I seriously gonna have to, god damn it. Destroy. Bye bye. There we go. Might as well destroy all of this because free woods. Lovely. Why is that still going? Oh, it's connected to the tree. I see. There we go. And I decided to go. I'm not going to go up to the trader up here just because I have to pass through so much black forest and. Like, I have to get around mountains and all. I went around this way, and there was wolves and all chasing me out in the mountain biome. Very high star wolves, so I said, screw that shit, I ain't going over this way. So, I'll be back once I get there. Oh my god. This is... That didn't even kill him. No! No! Come back. Your five star, you'll drop so much. You should, anyway. Ah! There we go. Lovely. What you dropping? Two deer hide only. Oh no, never mind. Okay. I'm. I've come so close to dying already, and I'm trying my level best not to because I'll go all the way back to spawn. I should, by rights, just stick down a bed, just to be safe. But we're we're gonna risk it for this bit. Ooh. It's mainly those fuckers, it's the boars. There's just so many of them, especially when you get the splitting ones. If you get a five star splitting one, along with a few other boars, it's actually, it's fairly hard to take them out. Ooh, another book. Which one are you? I'll drop, well not you, I guess I can't find you again. You, boom. Spartan, ooh. Well actually, there was one class I wasn't too happy with, I didn't really like it. Ah. <sighs> I would keep running, I think I have to go down this way a bit, and, oh no, actually, it's up here, I think. So yeah, back in a minute. I am some boob. I've been running this whole way, and I completely forgot about a class, basically, 
built around movement and that is the druid oh oh my god no please don't kill me oh oh druid away yeah that, that's the druid's all four move he turns into a bird very very useful he's all one moved in makes you run faster and you can keep that bird form until you run out of mana i thought it was up around here somewhere alt one as you can see very fast i'd love to be picking up them thistles along the way but i don't have the space at the moment another cool thing about this bird is when you're out of stamina you can still move fast with this birdie I must try and remember where that seed thing is back there, just in case I want to make a farm out of it, that ancient seed, I suppose spawner you could call it. Where is this thing? I was full sure. Oh no. Oh no. No way am I taking him on now. I'm just dodging basically every enemy I come across because they're either too high starred or they're just a vanilla enemy that I can't take at the moment. Oh, okay. I, I think I know where I am now. I actually have another bit to go because I remember this mountain biome. Is that a horsey? No. Check that house for a bee. Oh, the accuracies. You only wish you were as good as me. There we go. This guy don't got much offensive capability for all two, and that's what all two does. He can heal himself as well with all three, which is very nice. Please. Please, I just want to take out this one and the other one can piss off. There we go. Wait, please. I, I can hear bees in there and all. If I could get into the house and just leave the door closed. Get in. There we go. Is he going to come in the back? Please don't come in the back. No! 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 Oh, no. I have to run all the way back. No. At least now I know where I'm going, but still, ah, oh, what a sickener. Let's just see how far I've gone. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna be running for so long. Ah, I guess I'll be back once I get my stuff. Okay, I'm back and it didn't take too long to get back. But is this boar still around? I fairly need to, oh my God. I guess he is still around. And I have this cunt near me now as well. Please. Just let me get my stuff and I'll be gone. I'll dip, I promise. Is that all my stuff? Probably not because my armor is going to take up slots. Okay, I, need to, I need to get away a minute. I fair need to watch out for fall damage while using this ability because... Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Um, okay, so it's only my armor I actually have left there, I think. Is there anything I can drop? I don't really need this. But I can get some more. I guess I don't really need... Wait, why did that split into two stacks? Hmm, I wonder why that's happening. Well, God. I'm back now and I'll get my stuff. I might just try and lead these guys away, maybe. Is that everything? Not yet. Is that a bear? Oh my god, if a bear came down from the mountain, I swear to god. Okay, it wasn't a bear, I don't think. And that is something I forgot to mention, is I also have the Bears mod. Well, I, I, I'm after getting to mention a load of mods because there's just too many to think of right now, but I will explain them all once, once I actually start getting them. There's another horse, but I'm not going to bother killing him for now. Oh my 
God, yes, I can see the trader on my map. Nearly there, nearly there. Once I actually get inside his bubble, I'll be safe. I'll be able to place everything I want inside in his bubble and nothing will actually be able to touch me while I'm in there. Same rules still apply for enemy AI. It's just for me, I can actually build, place crafting tables, beds, whatever I want inside in the Oh my God, that was stressful. This was probably a stupid idea. Come on to the rock. Probably would have made it, but just to be safe. And here we are. Home sweet home. First thing I'm doing is putting down a bed. Oh. Jesus. I wonder can I place this inside him? I probably can. I can, but I probably won't be able to use it. Yeah, too exposed. I'll just use it to place my bed and things. So, no, not you. Uh, furniture, bed. Will it fit in here? It will not. What if I put it like... I don't want to get stuck inside anything if I have to respawn either. Like so. I kind of want to put it under here. Like that, maybe? That didn't look too bad. Now, claim straight away. Here we go. And we got Haldord in as well to sell all our goodies to her if we want to. Do I have anything I actually want to sell to her? Deer trophies? No. Will I sell these? I don't know. No, I'll hold on to them because they're used for stuff, I think. I got so much wood just from breaking down houses on the way. And there was also stacks, we'll say, the NPC stacks of wood coming up along. That's not vanilla actually is it? There's inside in some villages I was seeing wood stacks like I can build. We'll say uh, where is it? Oh it's missed. But like this only they're shaped different. I think that's just because they're eroded though. Alrighty well I think I might leave that episode here. If you liked the episode, please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you did not like the episode please leave your feedback in the comment section below. It is always appreciated. And other than that, I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!